Hi, I'm Shuey, and in this video, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to clean your Weber barbecue. Now, I'm always using mine for videos, so trust me when I say I know the easiest way to clean them. So, just sit back, grab a drink or two, and let's get into it. Now, to clean your Weber barbecue, there's a few items you're going to need. Some quadruple zero steel wool, stainless steel scourer, some dishwashing liquid, a bucket, a king chrome scraper, and extra blades, some paper towel, an old dustpan brush, some gloves, a couple of old towels, and some beer. Once you have all these items, we can get started. Cleaning your grill is important because grime and built up crud are not the next flavor profile. It's easy to do if you make it a regular thing and you can clean it while it's still in the kettle. It's time to glove up and remove the lid. We'll also remove the grill for now and just remove any accessories, baskets, kettle cone, get them out of your way. Next up, take the charcoal grate out and just give it a light brush down on both sides just to remove any excess dust. And now we can place the grill back in the bowl. If you've got an excess amount of food stuck on your grill, you should just get your scraper out and get it all off. Don't forget to flip it over and do the underneath side. Now there's a lot of built up crud in our bowl. The first thing we can do to clear some of it is using the one touch cleaning system. Next up, we're gonna use our King Chrome scraper. This is the best type you can buy. It will not damage the porcelain. And you're just gonna go around the entire bowl, scraping off all that built up grease and grime. Once you've given the bowl a good scrape, move the one touch cleaning system and we can scrape underneath where those blades were. And next up, using the blade, just lightly clean all three blades of the one touch cleaning system. And this is where that brush comes in handy. Brush it all down into your ash pan or ash catcher. Now I shouldn't have to say this, but wait until the barbecue has cooled down to do this. Now it's time to empty the ash pan before we start adding water to clean this. Otherwise we're just gonna end up with a big bucket full of mud. All right, the ash pan is empty now so we can put it back in place. And now we can put our grill back in. Now just grab a warm bucket of water and add your favorite dishwashing liquid. You'll also need one of those stainless steel scourers now and we're gonna soak that in the water. And just start scrubbing and you'll see what minimal effort it takes to clean your grill. Now, if your grill has the hinge parts, flip them over now. It makes it easier to clean the underside. Don't forget the other end. Now we can flip the entire grill over so we can do the underneath. Now by standing it up on its side, we can concentrate on cleaning that outer ring and the handles. Now just wet some paper towel and wipe down the entire grill. Now we can just place that somewhere to dry. You can scrub the charcoal grate as well if you want. I find just giving it that light dusting is more than enough. Built up grime on a barbecue grill is not a flavor profile. Don't be a grot, clean your barbecue grill. It's not like you put your dirty plates back in the cupboard to savor the flavor profile. Or do you? So we already made a start on the bowl by scraping it down. So let's finish it off. For this, we're gonna need some of that steel wool. Soak it in the warm soapy water and starting from the rim of the bowl, clean and work your way down. And you'll notice it does not take a lot of effort to clean the bowl up. If you do it on a regular basis, that's already looking remarkably better. And just like when we're getting all the crud and that scraped off, move the blades and that way we can clean underneath where they were. And next up, you can actually give each three of the blades a nice clean up with the steel wool. It's not gonna harm them. Time for more paper towel, soak it down and we're just gonna wash that bowl out now. And then using some dry paper towel, we're just gonna dry it off a little bit. How good does that look? 100 times better. None of this is hard to do. That scraper and the steel wool have done all the work. Now with all that smoke and creosote building up, the underside of the lid generally looks pretty dirty as well. So we're gonna use the same methods. We're gonna scrape all off the, the crud first 
and then we're just going to use warm soapy water and steel wool and it's going to come up looking like brand new again now to make things easier on yourself we can actually put the lid upside down in the bowl but we need to protect it from the tabs that hold the grill in place by putting two towels there we can have the lid at waist height easier to clean this is usually where i'll swap out and put a new blade in the scraper and just scrape away it will not hurt it it just makes a lot of noise now the inside of the lid does not need cleaning down as much as the bowl does the bowl obviously where all the fat drips you don't want any fat flare-ups so clean that on a regular basis the lid i'd probably do it every i don't know 30 or 40 cooks now that we've cleaned the inside of the Weber, we can focus on the outside and it's pretty much exactly the same way. We use a scraper to get any hard bits off. Don't worry, it's not going to affect that hard porcelain surface. Then we're going to use warm soapy water and the steel wool and that's it. Polish it up and it will look brand new again. Again, the outside does not have to be done in between cooks. It makes no difference on how clean your grill is. I get that. As you can see, the blade just gets the grime off. It's not going to affect any of that porcelain enamel. And with a little bit of steel wool on the vents, they come up looking brand new. Now, if you really want those vents shining like they were when you brought the kettle, go and use some automotive polish on them and give them a buff. Today, I'm cleaning a 57 centimetre Weber kettle. That includes the bowl, the lid, the grill, and the charcoal grey. It's going to take me about an hour to clean this Weber. Or, for those of you who like to follow my beer timer, you're looking at a two beer clean. Now, I'm used to doing this, so that's why it only takes me an hour. So don't beat yourself up if yours blows out to be a three or four beer clean. Now, if you are deciding to do a thorough clean on your Weber and you want to do the legs, the triangle, the ash panel catcher and the wheels, warm soapy water and steel wool, that's all you're going to need. Now, you may be new to the channel and if you are, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell button. That bell button is going to allow you to be notified every time I upload new content. Now, I know I didn't show you cleaning the outside of the bowl, but it's exactly the same. Use a scraper, warm soapy water, steel wool, wipe it off. If you didn't know already, Shoei's Barbecue has a Facebook page, so go and join it. There's plenty of people on there just like you who love barbecue. By the way, I've also got an Instagram account. Check it out. Just remember, if you are cooking on a filthy grill, that should be illegal. As always, cheers for watching.